Hi there, welcome to C++ STL video series. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about STL maps, which, is, which are associative containers. So associative containers are the containers where the elements are stored as a key value pair. I'll just go back to our earlier uh, picture. These are the associative containers. And in this video, we are going to talk about map, multi-map, unordered map, and unordered multi-map. So let's go to the coding. To use maps and multi-maps in our program, we need this file to be included. Now to create a map, uh, the syntax is similar for all the STL, but map needs key and value. So to create a map, we need to provide key as well as the value to create the map. So this is my map. It takes key and value. I am putting it in. It can be anything. Key can be anything. It need not to be numeric. It can be a string also. Now, how to iterate through, through map? Uh, it's very similar to the way we iterate through our sequence container. We'll create an iterator and we'll put map.begin. Iterator is not equal to map end and iterator plus plus. Now, before we go ahead and create some map element and print it here, we need to understand one particular STL uh, element called pair. Pair, as the name suggests, takes two entry and we can create pair by calling a function called make pair. Let's say I say 10, 20. So I have, now I have created a pair uh, with 10 value, 10 and 20. And if I want to print out this pair, I, I need to say pair first and then pair second. And if I go ahead and run this program, see that 10 and 20 being printed. So this is the way I use pair. The reason why I say talk about pair over here is that the map iterators returns a pair. So if I want to print this, I'll have to print it as first and second. Okay. If you are wondering why I use uh, pointer arrow notification here and dot here, uh, maybe uh, just recall from the earlier video that iterators are very similar to pointers. So map uh, iterator returned as a pair. So that's why we I depicted how to use pair over here. So let's get rid of it for a while. Now you can create map key by using subscript operator. Let's say I said four equal to four hundred. So basically, I have created a key map with a key four and value as four hundred. I can say a similar thing like map three with three hundred. In fact, I can also use the map inbuilt insert function and I can create a pair inside it. So let's say 10 and I say it 100. Okay. And in fact, I can mix and match at any point of time. So as of now, I have created four uh, key value pair inside my map and let's run the program and see the output. You can see the output. Is there anything different? Yes. We have inserted the keys in an in a order which is not sorted, but we got the output in a sorted order. So maps always maintains the order of the key, irrespective of the data type, it maintains the order of the key. Okay, so it's sorted on the keys. And uh, the internal data structure which is in which map implements it red black trees it's a balanced binary tree and always stored it in a sorted order that's why search is fast now i can instead of uh, if i want to overwrite the key i can just use the key as a subscript and overwrite so here number of elements will be three and 10 will be overwritten with seven and let's see the output and this is what happened but if I, instead of doing this if I use the insert function, there will not be have a, 
not have any impact because insert is meant for inserting not for updating so you can see 10 is remains the 100 and this insert simply discard because the key is already there okay so this will not work but this will work okay now uh, i change i can change map to multi map and that i uh, okay and i need to uh, remove this because multi map doesn't uh, support the subscript operator i'll tell in a minute why so in the multi map i'll in, let's say i do the insertion in, in the multi map so if i say 4 400 10 700 and 3 let's say 300 again and again i'll do for 10 i say 900 again i'll do it for 10 let's say 1000 now if i compile and run this code you can see the output just like map multi map maintains the sorted order of the keys but as the name suggests multi it allows multiple values to a key as we can see that 10 this key is a uh, key 10 in the, the key 10 is repeated three times because you have inserted value three times so there is in the multi map there is no concept of updating the existing value it's all about having multiple values to the key then why subscript operator is not allowed in multi map because when I, if i say this mp10 then i don't know which 10 i am referring to and there is no update can be done so that's why this is not allowed in multi map so uh, let's see about unordered map and unordered multi map so in to use unordered stuff you need to include a file called unordered map it's very easy to remember the file name because it's similar to the name of the stl lm unordered map so i am coming back to our original thing um, since map uh, allows me to uh, update it i can use the subscript operator and let's see i am using this what do you think will be the output of it let's run and see so unordered map allows me this because i can update the value that is there in a key but the difference is that things are not stored in a sorted order okay you can see 10 comes first 3 comes first 4 comes first and if i say 11 21 and you can see the things changing uh, in a different way i will be surprised that this order can change even with the subsequent implement uh, running of the program because unordered map are stored as a hash table it's it's a hash data structure and it's much faster than maps which are red black tree or balanced binary tree because the complexity of unordered map is just o1 because it's being a hash so you have to decide at what point of time you want to use what and similarly to unordered map we have unordered multi map which is also a hash implementation but it can allows multiple keys that's all so i can have 10 again over here and it will have two tens let's see again there is no sorted order maintained in an ordered map and that's why we see the output so that's all about maps and multi map